This is a replica of the Orion capsule that will be orbiting the moon next year. For the last week, NASA and the U.S. Navy have been training on board USS Anchorage recovering it. We got um, about 18 runs and typically we get one a day. So we got um, twice as many this just on this test than we've ever gotten. Thursday, NASA and the Navy gathered to discuss the recent testing, which they've been practicing since 2014. NASA has design standards and our hardware has to meet those design standards. Melissa Jones is overseeing the capsule's recovery testing for NASA. This capsule has um, attach points on it. We have a winch line that gets attached and we have um, four lines that, that go out from the wing walls and get attached to the capsule and then we reel it back in. Involves um, six small boats that we use. We use uh, Zodiacs and we use ribs. The Navy's USS Anchorage has a special compartment to help recover the capsule. Despite the fact that it's designed for amphibious assault transporting Marines, it is actually very uniquely suited to the NASA mission. During recoveries, the capsule is pulled into the ship where crew members work to secure it. It's a significant effort as far as the deck department in NASA. Uh, we probably have total uh, probably maybe about 120 people involved both in the boats as well as in the well deck. The actual Orion capsule is set to orbit the moon sometime next December before touching down about 60 miles off San Diego's coast. NASA says they still have three more recovery tests before then. We've learned a couple of, of small things that we will change, different pressures that allow us to have more control, but ultimately the system that we're testing right now is going to be the system that we use. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.